Let's write the valence net ionic equation for CO, NO33, and NaOH. We're talking about cobalt here. This is a small O, nitrate, cobalt 3 nitrate, and sodium hydroxide. So the first thing we do with these net ionic equations, we balance the molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. I can see that I have this nitrate ion here. I have three of them, but I only have one over here. So I could put a three in front of the sodium nitrate balances the nitrates. Now I have three sodiums. Let's put a three here. That solves that. Now I have three hydroxides, but I have three hydroxides over here. Those are good. Cobalt, cobalt. That's the balanced molecular equation. Now we need to write the state for each substance. It's going to look like this. Nitrates, compounds with the nitrate ion, very soluble. So we're going to put aqueous for those. They'll dissolve, dissociate into their ions. Hydroxides in general are insoluble unless with a group one element. Sodium, potassium, for instance. So sodium hydroxide is soluble. It's a strong base, but cobalt three hydroxide is insoluble. That means it's going to be a solid and fall to the bottom of the test tube as a precipitate when these two react. Those are the states. Now we can split the strong electrolytes into ions for the complete ionic equation. That's going to look like this. So this is the complete ionic equation. And note that we don't split solids apart in net ionic equations. We keep those together. So the cobalt three hydroxide, that stays together. Now we can cross out spectator ions. They're on both sides of the complete ionic equation. So in the reactants here, I see that we have three nitrate ions. We also have three nitrate ions in the products. Spectator ions, we cross those out. Three sodium ions in the reactants and the products. Spectator ions, they're gone. So this is the net ionic equation for cobalt three nitrate and sodium hydroxide. I'll clean this up, write the states, we'll have our net ionic equation. So this is our balanced net ionic equation for COnO33 plus NaOH. You'll note charge is the same on both sides. We have a three plus here, three times one minus, that's three minus. Those add up to zero. This is neutral net charge of zero. So charge is conserved, and if you count the atoms up, they're balanced as well. This is Dr. B. And thanks for watching.